Hi everybody, it's Lynn here, and I'm just a concerned mother and grandmother, and uh, also um, I'm living in Tasmania, okay, and here in Australia this year, it's like California fires, but only it's all over the entire country, and uh, we're not keeping up. We've got firefighters from overseas coming up, so thank you very much, New Zealand, Canada, and the USA. Um, but I am very, very worried about smoke. My granddaughter's going to be visiting, and plus she lives in Melbourne, and um, I, she has asthma. So I'm really, really concerned, extra concerned. Uh, so I was put my head together with a girlfriend and we brainstormed for a while off, off some ideas that I had had and um, I had gone into the hardware stores here, both Bunnings and Mitre 10, talked to the managers of the departments in each place and they both recommended using these for smoke and they're called P2. And um, anyway, this is, has been cut up, so it's not like this. It's like this. So they're called P2. And um, it has a good filter in it. And it was also written up in Melbourne's The Age newspaper uh, as to being, you know, a very good one for smoke because there's fine particles and all sort of things. And it's a good one. And they're eight ninety five at either store, I think. Uh, for a package of two. So that is what I started with. And then when I got it on my face, it just lacked a little bit. You're supposed to get a real tight seal all through here, it's a little nose thing, and then all through here. And I adjusted this strap. I put an extra little loop in it to make it shorter so that it would be tight on me. And I was very proud of the setup. And I showed a girlfriend that has worked in intensive care at the hospital as a nurse. And she said, you know, it's just not, unless there's tight suction, like if you put your head, the mask over your face, inhale and create the suction, it should stay on your face, okay? And um, she was very reluctant that these would actually seal around the face very well. And then she said, and what about smoke in your eyes? This will not do anything about smoke in your eyes. And also, how do you eat? <laughs> Good questions, okay? So, I started thinking about it and thinking about it and I pulled out my old uh, business outfit. I used to do underwater photography and uh, I still have one of my masks and, and snorkels and I thought hmm will it seal? Yes. We go to dive shops and we try on our mask like this Yep, it seals. Okay, one bridge crossed. So what do we do next? So then it's the snorkel bit. And I got my eyes covered. Put it on again. Eyes covered. Okay, that's the pattern of breathing. Deep, long breaths, and it works, it works. And see that? That's the filter from off here. Removed, it's, you know, like that, okay? And I put blue tack all around it and sealed it all up really, really, really well. Now, I'm, I'm not saying that it's heat proof because uh, we do know things like neoprene and other plastic and blue tack 
it's all going to melt in the hot, hot, hot if, if a fire is there. However, for smoke, it seems to me a great idea. Okay, and I'll give you a tip. You'd want to have some lozenges with you. Get a few pecks of lozenges to have in the house over summer. And um, keep that in your mouth with the snorkel. And I think we're set, hey? Wishing everybody a very safe bushfire season and may you all come out of it well. And if this helps, so be it. And uh, you don't really have to buy too much things that are special. Most people living around the coast have things like masks and snorkels. So let's just revise, reuse, and uh, keep ourselves safe. Good luck to you.